Welcome to Heath Rouse Barbecue. Today on Shooting the Q, I'm going to show you what we do with some of our leftover meats. Now, as you know, in a recent video before, I cook brisket, right? So I like taking my brisket and vacuum sealing it up, all right, in little bitty packs. So I can make an incredible meal at really the drop of a hat with a few simple ingredients. So today I'm going to be showing you my brisket bombs. Now the first thing I want to do is go ahead and get my bacon potatoes on the Traeger grill. I'm going to take a little bit of olive oil here, put on both of them. Let me swap hands here. You just want to take your olive oil and get all over that potato there. All right? And they can get slippery on you. Now as soon as you get that potato coated really well, I'm going to take some of my Killer Hogs TX rub. I really like this rub because of the coarse texture. I'm going to put a little bit on the outside of both potatoes. Now, then I just want to get them on the Traeger grill at 450 degrees for about an hour and a half to ensure that they're done and all buttery on the inside. Let's get them on. All right, I've got my Traeger up to temp with hickory pellets. I'm going to go ahead and place my bacon potatoes in here. I've got a cast iron skillet in here I'm going to be using later, getting hot. So these want to go about an hour and a half on here. My potatoes are off the grill. They cooked an hour and a half on the Traeger at 450. I'm gonna let them cool down for a while. My skillet's been here hot, so the first thing I'm gonna do is get a couple pads of butter in and some onions. I've got about a cup of onions. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw a couple pads of butter in. And I'm gonna go ahead and get about a cup of diced up onions in. And I'm gonna take a little bit of my beef rub. Just to incorporate a little bit more of what I had on the brisket when I cooked it. Now I'm going to let them saute on the grill here a little bit, just so they get a little bit translucent. All right, now I've went ahead and chopped up about a cup and a half to two cups of brisket. You can always do more if you want more meat, but I think that'll be enough for both potatoes for me and my wife. I've got two tablespoons of all-purpose flour here. I want to go ahead and add a little bit of beef stock to this flour, and what I'm going to do is. That's not a lot. I'm going to take and I'm going to whisk this up into like a slurry. And so basically when I put it in with my onions and my beef mixture, I'm not going to have any clumps. I'm basically making a gravy is what I'm going to do. I'm going to add a little bit, bit of beef stock to the hot pan on the thing. Now once you get all your lumps out of it and everything, you can just set it to the side and have it ready for your pan. Your onions are going to cook about five minutes. And you're going to go ahead and need to throw your brisket in as it starts warming up. So let's go ahead and get our brisket in the grill where it can start warming up as well. Uh, you can see our onions are about halfway cooked. They're looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and dump my brisket in to start warming up. Now, once I do that, I'm gonna let it go for about three or four minutes and I'm gonna add some beef broth to it, about a cup, cup and a half. Get the grill lid shut and let it go. All right, now that my beef's been on here for about five minutes, Go ahead and stir it around a little bit more. It's pretty warm. I'm going to go ahead and get about a cup, cup and a half of beef stock in. Okay. Now, once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and get my slurry that I made in. Now, what we're trying to do is get this to make like a gravy like consistency. Now we're going to get the grill lid shut and let it go for about 10 minutes before we check it and it should thicken up where we need it to be. 10 to 15 minutes, somewhere up in that range. All right, it's been about 10 minutes and our gravy mixture has thickened up. Come on in, let's see what it looks like. As you can see, it's gotten really good bubbly around the edges. Our onions are cooked, our beef is hot, and man, that looks good. This Traeger's done a phenomenal job cooking that. Let's go ahead and get it off over to the side and let's start building our bombs. All right, so the first thing I want to do, our potatoes have been cooling down for about 30 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and get them a slice down the middle here. You can see they're still hot. Now I'm going to go ahead and you bunch your potato up, okay? That's what your restaurants do to kind of make them form up. Now, second thing I want to do is go in here with my fork, kind of tear away some from the edge, right? Now, once I get that tore away from the edge, I'm sure everybody knows how to make a baked potato. This is simple 101 comfort food. So once I do that, I'm going to get a couple pads of butter in here. I'm going to go ahead and take some of my shredded cheese here and let it melt inside of it just a little bit. Now once I've got my cheese in, I'm going to go ahead and squirt a little bit of my sour cream in. And I'm going to go ahead and take my fork then and start trying to incorporate 
all that off in the potato where it can melt. Now, once I get that kind of where I want it to be, open up that potato nice and good. Get it all mixed around. Remember, I'm trying to create like a bowl here. So once I do that, get everything in it. All right, now we're ready to put our Brexit mixture in the potatoes. Go ahead and just scoop it up. Scoop it in. You want to try to fill these pretty evenly with all our mixture here. All right, now once I get every, all that on, I'm going to go ahead and put some cheese on here. We're going to stick it back on the Traeger to melt. You can go ahead and get it topped with your favorite cheeses. It would be even be good to go ahead and put some mozzarella on here. All right, let's get this back on the Traeger to get it melted. And we'll be ready to eat. All right, now that our potatoes are off of the grill and our cheese is melted, I want to go ahead and recap what we've done. We took two big Idaho bacon potatoes. We washed them. We coated them in olive oil. We seasoned them with Killer Hogs TX rub, which is a good coarse ground salt and pepper garlic onion rub. Then we come back, put our potatoes on, they cook for an hour or a half on the Traeger. We pulled them off to let them rest while our cast iron skillet got up to, got up to temp. We put a couple pads of butter in, we sauteed about a cup of onion, and then we threw in about a cup and a half of chopped brisket that was left over from a previous video that I had vacuum sealed up. We let it come up to temp about five minutes. We made a slurry out of flour and a little bit of beef stock. Then we poured about a cup of beef stock in so it could start making a gravy. After about 10 or 12 minutes on the grill, it was good and gravied up and ready for our potatoes to make the bombs. So we split our potatoes open, put butter, sour cream, a little bit of cheddar cheese in, and mixed them up, put our brisket topping on top of it, put more cheese on top of that, and put it back on the Traeger to melt. The only thing left to do now is sprinkle a little bit of green onion, because I love me some green onion on everything. Now you can go ahead and top with barbecue sauce now if you want to. You can go ahead and put a little bit more of sour cream on it if you want to. You can really make it your own dish. This is Comfort Food 101. The only thing left to do is get in here and try this. All right, now that these things have cooled down, let's get in here and try them. I'm gonna go in for me a good bite here. Shut the front door. That is good. Oh, I can't wait for you guys to try that. Everybody's always looking how to use leftover meats after you smoke them on the grill and have a little bit of leftovers. This is a unique way that will never get old. If you like what we're doing here on our channel, be sure to like and subscribe. Hit that share button with your friends. We're going to keep putting out weekly recipes and hope they get even better. Thanks.